Usually when we hear the word layers, we usually think of Photoshop, but InDesign has layers as well, and they can be pretty useful for selecting and adjusting objects and their visibility. So go ahead and open up example.indd and navigate to one of the pages. I'm just on this uh, feature story layout here. And you'll notice if you click on layers right over here, or just go to window and then layers, uh, it brings us out. There's only layer one, right? And if you hit the icon, toggles the visibility of everything. Well, that's because when I placed everything in, I didn't place them into different layers. What we can do, though, is click that down arrow, and it lists all the images and text boxes and paths and shapes and all those uh, elements that are in this editorial layout uh, right there on the layers panel in pages four and five. All right, so why this is useful? Well, you can click the eye icon of specific elements and toggle the visibility. You can also right click over it and you can go to select item and it'll select it or you can click that little box there on the right the square and that's an easy way to click and select items so let's just say there was an image that was below a bunch of other images and instead of having to go to move things out of the way or try to go to object arrange bring to front bring to back send forward send backward you can actually, if you know the name of it, you can select it on here and it will select it. Then you can move it around or you can adjust it. You can also click it and then click it again and you can rename it. So you could type in a specific name so it's easier to know what these objects are. And you can also, instead of just toggling the visibility of one thing, if you hold Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and click the eye icon, that will toggle the visibility of everything but that specific layer or sublayer. With one of these layers selected, you can also click this down arrow up in the top right hand corner, and there's new layer. Of course, you could also click down there to create a new layer. Uh, you can also duplicate things, but you can also go right here where it says layer options. All right, so click that. What this is helpful because you can actually color code different layers if you want, but you can also say whether you want to show the layer, show the guides lock guides you can also lock the layer so not only is it not editable but you can't even select it and you can also toggle the printing of the layer so if you have the unchecked it won't print the layer when you go to print whatever's on that layer you can also go here to suppress text wrap when layer is hidden what that means is if you had uh, text flowing around and wrapping around a photo for example and you toggle the visibility of that photo layer then the text wrap won't be applied when you have it toggled off, the visibility. So a lot of people like to organize different elements in the layer. So if you just click create a new layer, there's nothing on here right now, but you can actually click and drag one thing onto another layer. And now we have something in that layer. And you, it's easily uh, editable and you can easily identify which objects are in which layer by the color code. So that's layers in InDesign. It can be pretty useful when you're trying to select things on a page and they're behind other things, or if you just want to organize items on a page.